So I'm going from a six gauge wire to number two welding cable. And here's how most of these connections look on this cart, all corroded up. So I've done, took a wire brush to all the terminal posts in there. I was gonna show you, but it's hard. It's over there by the cart. Scrubbed them all down, got this. I had some welding wire laying around. But yeah, it's just six gauge wire, 600 volts, good stuff. I had it laying around, so why not use it on a cart? And I said, I had that wire laying around, so the only thing I had to go buy was some wire terminals here. And I just used these Hobart ones. I got them from the Rural King. And I'm using, I think they still make these things. I think I saw one at the Rural King too. But uh, this was my grandpa's. It was given to me. It's old and it's rusty. But it gets the job done, let me tell you. So gonna keep knocking these out uh my gopro's dead right there or the garage is a mess we just got a new couch haven't gotten rid of this one yet and there's that big green egg the mistakes we made on there the other night they were good but yeah like i said gopro's dead lawnmower sitting there not too bad model t kind of got pushed to the side because spring's coming and i need to get it ready to mow this grass all right, so got this end put in there. All you do with this little tool is pull it up. My hand's blocking it. Pull it up. Yeah, so pull it up like that. And you take your cable, your uncrimp side, and you stick it in. You let this thing down where you want it. Make sure your connections are seated nicely. Wires are in there. I didn't have any solder or I would have soldered them before I inserted them, but, and then you just smash it down. And then you got protection like that and you ain't pulling that off. So, can't beat that. Heat shrink it and call it a day. So, just got my ratchet and wrench warrantied. It wasn't working before, but now we're in action. Also, picked up a new set of screwdrivers here. We'll see if they can hold up to the old Craftsman's. So, but the old Matco's, man. They, I like how they got that felt on there, nice and I don't mind the uh I think well, I can't remember what they're called, the snap-on ones that are I've got them at the house, so I'll show you when I get home. I uh, got the grooves on them, but lime green was screaming at me when I got on that truck. I had to get them. Made some gravy from the sausage drippings. And go ahead and dump that sausage into that pot. Come on. Stir that all in. Have us some breakfast here. So the guy I bought this cart off of gave me a lift kit for it. So. I'm going to go ahead and throw this thing together. Put jack this bad Jackson up real quick. Take the front end apart. And then do the front. I just had to do that real quick for you. This is what every Tahoe in the area looks like. Them boys just, they make you sick when you see this. The exhaust sounds just something fierce.
They got him looking like this. Looks like a dog dragging its butt on the ground. Scratching itself. Something ugly out here, I'll tell you. So, got the front axle on. And I got to... I'm going to clean up these spindle or kingpin bushings here. Put the spindles back in. And I think I want to grease the bushings. Sorry, the bearings and the hubs. Now I see why this whole boy didn't do this lift kit. It is some instructions that are just terrible. And, well, this thing's a little dirty, but it's kind of just Mickey Mouse together. And we'll go ahead and fix all of that. But they did put new shocks in the rear. Didn't do the front because you got to pull the whole, uh, what do you call it? Housing front clip off basically to do the shocks. Or pull a dash out of it but we'll redo it or not redo it but do the rear here and call it a day it's still working on my one dog so we got this here justin go ahead and run it. justin's gonna go ahead and run those bolts down real fast well they're plugging us not bolts but y'all get the point so he'll zap them in real fast the old ryobi no big deal so the lift is done. So we just ran the old cart. I'll get the leaf blower on that. But we just ran the old cart down to the trash can, took the garbage out. And I mean, I didn't, I mean, I guess I paid for the lift because I bought the cart. Whoa. But I mean, I guess I paid for the lift because I bought the cart. But hey, I didn't mean to steeze on y'all in these sketchers now, but. I've seen them pop up, and y'all probably gonna see them, but I own a couple pairs of Skechers and the Crocs. I dabble on them a little bit, but I mean, like I said, for a free lift that came with the cart, you can't beat it. And got the tires on the zero turn, not bad. This thing just needs some tires now, kinda looks ugly. So folks, I just got home from work and on my way home, well actually not on my way home, but on like my lunch break today, I, I found some guns selling some golf cart tires and he was letting them go. Uh, he's, I guess he said he didn't, he never installed them. He bought them, didn't like the rims and they wouldn't accept a return. And he sold them to me for extremely cheap. So we're going from these here to these there. Now they're, they're not 22s or 23s, what everyone's running. These are just 20s, which is only two inches more than what's on there right now. And it's a bigger rim. But I think these are 20 by 10 by 10s, and those are 18 by 8 by 8. So, I mean, he gave me these things for such a low price, I couldn't pass them up. He gave me the receipt. He bought them from a guy who does golf cart repairs in the area. And I think he paid like three or 400 bucks for them. And I picked them up for $75 for all four. So they don't look bad, especially not on the cart. And now they do have a little bit of offset to them. They, they stick out a little bit past the old fender well. I just kind of threw them on there real quick. Haven't finished, but they just stick out, man. Only bad thing about that is it's gonna sling water up on you if you're driving it in the rain. So that's the only downfall to them. So I got these tires put on today. Just picked them up. There's all those new battery connections. I just have to do the two leaving the battery to the controller and to the motor. So I got this filter setup pump in here. And it does look a little absurd, but that's just what came with what I have when I bought this tank. Tank was used, brand new pump, water separator, and a filter element here. So, gotta get some uh, Teflon tape on here, hook it all up, and then I'll be able to fill up my truck, I guess, or a tractor, whatever the case may be. Granted, like I said, this tank don't fit in this truck. It hits the fender wells. I'm not going to trade this for a short cab or a short bed tank so it'll clear but 
100 gallons, I'll go down to a 74. I think it'd be, a, someone would make out on it, UWS. I just want to stick with aluminum. I don't really want to steal one, but it's a pretty nice tank. I got my scallions coming up, I just watered. No jalapeno sprouting yet. I transferred them over here when they were starting to, but doesn't seem like I'm having any luck yet. But yeah, I got some onions coming up already, little scallions, good stuff. Scallions grow fast, you can pretty much grow scallions anywhere, but not bad for that. So I'm putting together this white rocking chair, just kind of have something on the porch, make it look a little nice. There's Moose. Moose! Moose! Oh, the moose here! You just had breakfast. He's hanging out. Not bad. We get this thing wrapped up and move on to the next project. Now, I remember I, I, so I was talking about these little screwdrivers here. And I said I'd show you one of these snap-on ones here. So, these ain't bad. They're real comfortable in your hand. You can get a good grip, like the way they sit in your crevices. But you can get a good turn on them. And here's one of the Mac ones. Different. A little bit different. But they ain't too bad neither. You can... They turn all right. You can, you can get a good grip on them too. These Mac ones, they're about the same. They're just round. Heck, I feel like on these snap on ones, you can get a little bit better grip. But these Mac ones, I just bought them because I needed some new ones at work. And... I can't get a hold of our Snap-on dealer. Dude's a joke, so. Mac it was. Or sorry, Matt Co. it was. Yeah, that sun looks pretty nice right now, setting down behind them trees. There they are. Heathens. Lillian, Lillian, enough. Oh! <laughs>